Chasing dreams. I think that's that's probably the most romantic thing about being at the racetrack in the morning. It's so quiet, so peaceful, so serene. It really is a study in extremes. By any given morning, the next superstar could be galloping past you because of the possibilities. That everyone out there is is, is chasing a dream and you just don't know what uh, in, any horse is going to end up being. Uh, Silver Charm came storming down the stretch. And you know, you have the first Saturday in May, last two minutes and change. The gate opened and War Emblem went right to the front and, and, and led all the way. And it's really great to look at the past and look at War Emblem's Derby and Silver Charm and everything, but really what you have to do is keep looking forward. These horses live to be 30 years old, so there's many more minutes and many more days beyond the first Saturday of May and beyond that, and, and I think that's really, really important. At the end of the day, a lot of these horses weren't getting the kind of treatment that I thought they might deserve. And so, uh, so I started thinking about it. And so I decided we'd try and start Old Friends and we'd take Stallions. And Michael's dream was, was something else altogether. A wonderful idea. Uh, tougher to accomplish. The retirement home for, uh, for, for horses that had, had accomplished much on the racetrack. We've had our ups and downs. I mean, you know, uh, when I first started this, people thought this is the craziest idea they ever heard of. So you picked a nice day, huh? Thanks for coming. You know, we started with one horse, now we have 164. I just adore this. I mean, there's no, it's like you fall in love. I mean, that's what happens. You never know what's gonna happen. What Michael has found is, is a way to give back to these horses, give back to these racing stars. Tradition means so much. History means so much, and, uh, and these horses—you uh, know—they're just, just just watching them on that farm, being able to visit, maybe feed them an apple or a peppermint or pet them on the nose. It's uh, it's it's living history. And this horse is really just amazing. Such a thrill, such an opportunity. These are celebrities. I never got that excited about the movie stars, but I'm totally enthralled with these horses, and I I do get starstruck around. He starts talking to me when, uh, when I'm not doing it quick enough. What? <laughs> All right. Quick run and then we'll eat. Come on, touch goal. Come on, buddy, we got carrots. Now, hey, stop it. You get my kiss? I get my kiss? Thanks, that's, that's pretty perfunctory. Can we get a little more, a little more action there? I can't imagine having more fun than this. Those visits to old friends allow uh, the, the people who come to, to, uh, to, to see those horses to, to uh, appreciate that and, and savor what they accomplished and, and, and again thank them a little bit for what happened on the racetrack. The old friends and the work of Michael, I, I think uh, those, they, they combine to be one of the most wonderful things about, about our industry. I think all these horses have proven that, that they're very valuable. There's so many horses that, that could use a place like this. The, the foundation for all of it is, is the love of the horse, the love of thoroughbred racing, and respect for what these horses have, have accomplished in, in their careers.